Hello everyone. Today's question of the day is based upon time and work. It is again a pass cat question. The question is a person can complete a job in 120 days. He works alone on day 1. On day 2 he is joined by another person who also can complete the job in exactly 120 days. So that means he works alone on day 1. On day 2 he is joined by another person with same efficiency because that second person also he is completing the work in 120 days only so his efficiency will also be same on day 3 they are joined by another person of equal efficiency so on day 3 another person comes of equal efficiency and joins them like this every day a new person with the same efficiency joins the work how many days are required to complete the job so everything is related to efficiency over here let me assume that efficiency of a man a single man it let it be x x units per day so what will be the total work we know that a person can complete a job in 120 days so work will be equal to man in 2 days so total work will be equal to 120 into x which gives us 120 units now we have a condition that every day one man is coming and joining them so when will the job be completed so on day 1 we will have x units completed on day 2 there will be two men with x units so they'll complete 2x work on the third day we'll have three men of x efficiency so 3x units work will be done and so on we have to complete 120x units so every term here x 2x 3x these are the number of days on day 1 x units was done on day 2 2x was done on day 3 3x was done so we'll count the number of terms here so this is an ap x plus 2x plus 3x and we have to sum up equal to 120x so we simply have to find out the number of terms that will give us the number of days so what is the sum this is basically sum of first n natural numbers if you take x common you'll be getting 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to up to and this should be equal to 120x so we can cancel x over here and let me assume that there are n terms in this so n n plus 1 by 2 this is the sum of first n natural numbers this should be equal to 120 So when we solve this, we get n square plus n minus 240 equal to zero. So 240, and so here we'll have uh, 15 and 16. So n square plus 16 and minus 15 and minus 240 equal to zero. So this gives us n plus 16 n minus 15 equal to zero. We'll be taking only the positive roots because we are finding out the number of days. Number of days can never be negative. So n equal to minus 16, it will be ignored. N equal to 15 will be taken. 15 will be the correct answer to this question. So that's it. This wasn't a very tough question. If you still have a doubt, please comment. Thank you.